Hello everyone, I'm doing this video um, to let you all know that if you're with Virgin Media uh, Broadband and you've got a super hub, um, there is a new firmware what has recently come out if you're not already aware of it and they've got a few problems with it. Um, re over the weekend I've been formatting my machine, reinstalling the operating system back and all the applications. Um, then over the weekend when I was downloading some of the applications um, they were failing every time, not all of them, just some of them but if I was to download an application and I was to double click on it to install the application it would say the file is corrupted um, now I've spoken to Virgin Media about this um, because some of the some of the downloads would download completely fine others would um, say corrupted and when I spoke to Virgin Media they basically turned around and said yes it's an issue with their firmware so if you get this problem what they've told me to do and I'm letting you know so you can do this as well if you log on to the um, super hub um, with the IP address which I will put in the description log into it with your username and password um, click on the Superhub settings tab the one in the middle go down that list and click on enable modem mode so what that will then do is it will disable the wireless settings of your super hub and it will just turn your modem into a modem mode so you can download the applications then um, the to put the modem back into uh, the super hub mode where you get the wireless it is a completely different IP address I will also put that in the description uh, below and um, all you do then is you log into it exactly the same way click on super hub settings in the middle same tab as before and then just click disable modem mode um, when you do turn it into modem mode you have to switch your ethernet cables round if you've got them in a different order because your PC uh, has to be in port 1 which is nearest the cable where what comes into your modem from outside so you have to switch it to that otherwise you won't get internet access um, the person on the phone also gave me a link uh, which I will also put in the description uh, it's on the Virgin Media community um, so any updates from the Virgin Media support team will be posted in that community if you would like any more information about this problem or any help regarding how to switch the modes or anything else just uh, put a comment below and I will do my best to help you out. Thank you.